It can be so easy to get in a mess with files on your cloud storage. Well, now is the time to get it sorted. Check out my straightforward steps to organizing your cloud storage and never lose a file again. Hi, I'm Amanda Lithgott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. No one ever teaches us how to organize our digital files. And with doing so much online nowadays, it is so easy to get out of hand. So it is time to get things sorted because believe me, you will totally thank me when you can find that file in a jiffy. In this video, I'm going to walk you through my five steps to getting your cloud storage organized. So let's get sorted. Step one, plan your stretcher. Before you dive right in, you need to stop and make a bit of a plan with a bit of design work. We need to plan out our root and our branches, a bit like a tree, but with computer files. So we're talking folders and subfolders. There are a few options of what you can use for your starting core folders and then subfolders. It really depends on what works for you. But you have things like category, like business, personal, home, work, and so on. Then you have by format, so documents, photos, videos, music. Another option is by date. Okay, so you're probably not going to use it for your top level, but for your subfolders, this could be a great option. This works really well when you're talking about photos. Whatever you decide, you need to make sure it works for you, but also that it will be able to expand your structure as the number of files grows. So think long term. Step two, use names that help, not hinder. I am talking both naming your folders and files. For folders, it means you are going to be able to follow the logic and find your file at the end of the branches. My little trick is to put numbers in front of the names of my folders so that I can see the things that I use the most at the top of my folder list and I am not relying on alphabetical sorting to find my stuff. So if I use photo organizing the most, it has a number one at the front and then business might be number two. Then for files, you need to make sure the names are specific so you can find them. But don't go nuts with so much information that the file names get way too long. If you want my top tip on how to name your photos, then check out my other video on the best ways to name your photos that you can find in the link above. Step three, decide where to move everything and move it. Okay, so the number one rule here is everything should be in a folder. Move away from saving files on your desktop. Not only does it lead to a total mess, but it's not exactly secure. I am a big fan of cloud storage for my files, mostly because I can access all of my files across all of my devices, including my phone. You have the likes of Google One, Dropbox or OneDrive, but before you jump in, make sure the payment plans work for you and that all of your file types will be loved by your cloud storage. I have had some fun in the past trying to load Microsoft Office files into Google. They just don't like each other very much sometimes. So be careful. Step four, use shortcuts, quick access, and the sidebar. So for all of those desktop file lovers out there, I am not going to leave you hanging. This is where you can have your desktop fun if you must. You can create shortcuts to your lovely folder structure on your desktop so that if you want to access them quickly from there, you can. But you can also make it quicker to get to subfolders on both Windows Explorer and Mac Finder by using quick links on Windows and the sidebar on the Mac. They are those little sections to the left that normally just has the bog standard list of options like pictures, downloads, and so on. Well, you can add your own. Just drag and drop the folder you want to in the quick access or sidebar, and it will stay there ready to make your life easier. It totally saves me so much time. Step five, make sure it is backed up and secure. 
cloud storage is great for access, but it doesn't totally protect you against losing your data. They can be hacked or the company can decide to block your data. So it's a really good idea to have a separate backup, whether it's a dedicated backup service like Backblaze or as simple as an external hard drive to make sure that all of your lovely files are safe and sound should the worst happen. So there you have it, how to organize your cloud storage with five simple steps. Now all you have to do is stick to the plan. What other tips and tricks do you use to keep your files and folders all sorted? Leave them in the comments below. As I am all about photo storage, are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share, and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.